Hey everyone, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and in this video we're going to take a look at Closers Copy Frameworks, how to use them, and how you can actually create your own custom frameworks in order to kind of train the AI to write the type of stuff that you want it to. Um, so I'm in a document here, and I've been working on a custom framework, but I'm going to show you that in a minute. The first thing I'm going to do is just click on Frameworks right here, and this opens the frameworks, and now I can select uh, these are the closers copy frameworks down here. There's quite a few of them. There's community frameworks, which I've added to my account, and then there's my framework, which I made. Um, so I'm just going to go with, uh, if I just go to all, it'll list all of the closers copy frameworks right here. And I'm just going to select a fairly basic one, I think, to sort of give you an idea of how they work. Um, so we've got some copywriting frameworks, which are like AIDA and Before After Bridge and Problem Agitate Solve. Um, let's just go with the blog outline one. So this one is just for creating a blog outline and basically you can put in a topic such as traveling the Caribbean on a budget or we could use something like how to cook a meal for your family. I don't know, I don't know where that came from but we're gonna try it. And you can change the creativity right here. So this is highly creative, this is more strict. I find they usually work best on a little bit of a stricter setting. And then you can change the number of outputs from one to five. I'm just gonna leave it on three and we'll hit write. So now the AI is considering its training and considering the input and it's going to give me a blog outline. So these are some subheading ideas that I might use. Um, so this one, I think this one looks pretty good. Ingredients needed to cook a meal, how to choose dishes to cook, how to shop for groceries, how to prepare ingredients needed for cooking, how to cook the meal, how to serve the meal, clean up, and other things to remember. So that's actually a pretty good outline for a blog post about how to cook a meal for your family. Um, and you can use these frameworks to generate uh, a ton of different stuff. Um, like I was saying, there is, there's lots of closures copy frameworks that were built into it. And then there's actually a ton of community frameworks as well. If I just go to browse community frameworks, these are all frameworks that have been created by people in the community, and I've shared a few there myself. And uh, if you want to check out Closers Copy, um, I've got an affiliate link in the description that you can use to go and uh, take a look and see if the see if it looks right for you. And uh, if you come into the group, there's a really active Facebook group with a lot of cool people in it. And uh, just if you have any requests for custom frameworks, there, then just leave them there and uh, myself or someone else will likely be happy to help you out because we're all uh, very interested in developing this tool as much as we can and that means building a variety of different frameworks. And so now let's take a look at how you can actually build your own custom framework. So basically what you do is you create something that looks sort of like this. Um, so with a framework, uh, if we just take another look at one, um, the outline, you have, uh, you have inputs such as what you want to write an outline about and then you have outputs which are what it generates and so in what you do in order to build a framework is you establish a pattern and so the pattern I've established here is company name and then I have a company name business activities and then I have sort of a very brief description of what the company's business activities are and then I have the company slogan and then I have three hashtags, which tells the AI that before and after those hashtags is a separate set or a separate part of the pattern. So it knows that this is kind of one block of the pattern, and this is a second block of the pattern, and this is a third block of the pattern, and so on. And all that I've done here is I went and found some popular companies, and I got their slogans, and I wrote in their business activities, and I did that a bunch of times, like six or seven times here. And then down here, I have company name and business activities, and those are going to be my inputs. And then, um, and then I'm going to need slogan as well as an output. So I can actually, now that this framework is built, um, and you can do this for anything you want, you could do this for YouTube descriptions, you could do this for Pinterest posts. And even if the thing is, even if a framework for what you want to write already exists in Closers Copy, creating your own framework is a really good idea because that's going to help the AI write in more a tone of voice that's similar to yours. Um, so let's just put in the name of my company, Lover Fighter Writer. 
business activities, we'll put in copywriting. And then in order to test this framework, uh, you can build it into this tool, but in order to test it before we do that, we're just gonna highlight everything, and we're gonna right click and click on AI, or you can just hit Control Q. And now the AI is going to take into consideration everything that I highlighted, and based on that, it's going to return an output. If you can't tell them, tell them like this. <laughs> so that's a, a slogan. It's not a fantastic one, but it's a slogan, right? And uh, I, I've been finding that these things actually work a little bit better in the framework builder. Uh, so I, I already put it in, but I'll show you exactly how you can build it. So basically what I would do is I would highlight all this again and copy it, control C. And then I would go to the frameworks. I, I would click on frameworks like I did before. So just to show you how that works, click on frameworks, it opens. And then I would go to new right here, and this opens the framework builder. Then I would choose a category, which might be business, choose a name, which might be slogan generator. And then I would paste all of that text in here. Um, I would leave it, leave it blank, or I would leave the, uh, I would leave the inputs blank. And actually, I'll show you what it looks like because I've already made this one. Um, my frameworks business. So I'm just going to open this, and this this is exactly the same thing as when it, when you create a new one. So as you can see, I've pasted all this text in here, and then I've got um, company name, and then input one, and then business activities, and then input two in curly brackets, both those are in curly brackets, and then slogan, and slogan is blank. And then down here, this is just for examples. So I provided input one colon Flamingo Digital Designs and input two colon Graphic Design Company. So basically I'm saying that as an example, um, you could say the company name of a company is Flamingo Digital Designs, and as an example of what they do, it might be Graphic Design Company. Um, so that's all set up already. And then once you have that built in there, you would click save, I'm just gonna close it. And then you can come here and click on open. And so as you can see, uh, now I've got a framework uh, built right in here that uses all of this. And so let's just use my example. I'll say use my example and it auto populates uh, those fields. So we've got a company name, we've got business activities. And I'm just gonna set this to strict and we'll leave outputs on three and I'm gonna ask it to write for me. And now this doesn't always work. No AI tool works 100% of the time. Sometimes it's gonna return kind of like nonsense or a lot more content than I wanted it to, but it looks like it's doing a pretty good job so far. So we've got the power of print, we've got just do it, which is not good, it's copying. And we've got providing creativity with a twist. I really like that one. So you can see like for, for every three or four generations, for every three or four ideas that it generates, you're gonna get like maybe one good one for every three or four. Um, but that's not bad, you know, that's about the same, it's probably a better success rate than most people would get brainstorming on their own. Um, so we've got the power of print again, dare to be different, just do it again, which is unfortunate. I'm going to make it even stricter, see what happens. And then we'll try one on a bit more creative setting. Um, inspiration from the top. See, this one is not really good because it's not, it's not following the pattern here. It's, it's writing something that's too long. We create credibility, not reenactments. Kind of like that. And now let's just set it to creative for fun and see if that really makes a difference. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it depends on the framework. Sometimes it does make a big difference. And yeah, so you can see this one isn't as good. Um, but imagination is not enough. I like that too. So if I, if I, was, uh, if I had been tasked with writing a slogan for this company, then I could start my brainstorming with imagination is not enough. We make ideas beautiful, inspiration from the top. We create credibility, not reenactments, the power of print, um, and providing creativity with a twist. That's like six or seven really solid slogan ideas for this imaginary business that I just made up. And you can put in whatever company name you want, uh, you know, your company name, obviously, or a client, and then you put in the business activities and you can just hit write, it'll generate ideas and you can play around with this creativity setting to, um, to see what works best. And then what you do in order, to, uh, in order to share this with the community, you just come right here. Uh, so here's my slogan generator in my framework under business. 
and then you just click on this little icon right here that looks like a person or two people and then it says are you sure your framework will be shared with the community and I say yes share it and now that's been shared with the community let's see if we can find it it is right down here slogan generator and so if I want to unshare it I can unshare it um, but I'm just going to leave it there so that people can use it and uh, this way if you decide to uh, buy closers copy if you don't have it already then you can use it and if you do have closer copy already then uh, feel free to try it out and let me know what you think let me know if you get some good results out of this one uh, i'm i've made uh let's see how many have i made like five or six maybe more frameworks already and i'm just uh always coming up with new ideas for them and again if you've got a specific one that you want to request just let me know i'd be happy to uh, create a custom framework uh to help you create the content that you need all right that's all I've got for today. I'll catch you in the next video.